Well, hello, this is Kelly. I'm the Mathematic Plumber, and today let's talk about zone valves. Now, the zone valves I'm going to be showing you today are all Honeywell zone valves. There are many different types, and they don't all look like this, but they all operate the same way. So let's talk about the three different zone valve types. The first zone valve type is a normally closed zone valve that is just plain and simple a zone valve. So this is an electronic valve that starts and stops the flow of water. I can tell it's normally closed because it has a manual tab where I can manually open up the valve. On the inside, zone valve is gonna look pretty similar to all the others. I have a little electric motor, we call that the actuator, and two wires coming in. So what happens here is when I bring power to the zone valve motor, this actuator with these wires, which is 24 volts, it opens up and water flows through. The second type is also a normally closed zone valve, and I can also tell that because it does have this manual tab on the side here to manually open it up. Notice how this one has four wires. Two wires, these two yellow ones, go to the actuator motor just like the first one. However, the two red wires go to an end switch, which doesn't look like much. That's that thing right there. But that is a little switch that will close or allow power to go through it just like a regular light switch when the zone valve is all the way open. So once again, this is normally closed. That means that you need to put power to it, 24 volts for this one, to open it up and allow water to flow through it. And both of these have an inlet or inlet and outlet port. We can actually see a directional arrow there. Now the third type is a little bit weird. This type here has no manual tab. We call this a normally open zone valve. Still looks the same under the hood. We still have a zone valve motor, still a 24 volt actuator, still just two wires, so there's no end switch on this. However, this particular type allows the water to flow through it until power is put onto the actuator. So no power means it keeps flowing. That's for safety purposes. We'll talk about that later. I got two different types of thermostats that are specific to these different types of zone valves. This particular one is our regular thermostat. So the thermostat will just measure the temperature of the room and either turn the boiler off or on in response to that but this is our regular one called the normally closed. Notice how the numbers here go from 10 degrees Celsius to 30. So to turn it up, I just slide that slider over. Now the normally closed thermostat is for the two normally closed zone valves. This other one here, you may have noticed, has the numbers in reverse, 10 to 30, 10 to 30. This is a normally open thermostat. This thermostat operates in reverse of this one, so you don't want to mix the two up ever. Normally closed goes with the normally closed zone valves. Normally open thermostat goes with the normally open zone valve. If you mix them up, you're going to have a problem. It's going to act in reverse, so don't screw those up. Now let's see them in action. This is my normally closed zone valve. This is just a standard normally closed zone valve. I only have two power leads coming out of it, so there is no end switch. What I have here is a 24 volt transformer, which is just converting power from your house, which is about 120, and turns it into 24 volts. So what I have here is power coming out of my transformer to the thermostat, which is just a typical switch that is temperature activated and this comes down the other side of the switch to the zone valve. The other wire for the zone valve needs to come to the other side of the transformer to complete the circuit. Right now, this zone valve is powered down, so it's closed, normally closed. So I'm gonna take my normally closed thermostat and turn it all the way up. So now power is coming through here, opens the zone valve and water starts running out. Typically, that would be run into a piping system, but that's not very good for demonstration purposes. If I go turn the thermostat down, the valve shuts. 
So we have our normally closed zone valve with end switch. And I can tell that on the Honeywell zone valve because I have four wires coming out of it. The two yellow ones are for the actual actuator motor, which is this motor right here. And the two red ones are for the end switch, which you can't really see, but it's down here. Right now we are powered down. There is no power going to my zone valve motor, and I can tell that because no water is flowing out the bottom of my zone valve. I can manually bypass it with a normally closed application with this little lever. And I'm just going to let it go and it'll seal up again. So what I have here, I have 120 volts, well 116, coming through this red wire to my end switch. And the other side of that switch comes out to this fan here. Typically this would be a pump, but pumps can't be run dry, so we're not going to do that. So what I'm going to do is turn up my normally closed thermostat right to 30, and this will start to open up. When it gets all the way open, this fan should come on. Perfect. There, I just turned it off and it closes. Now for the third and final one. This is the normally open zone valve. Now, we already looked at the thermostat. The thermostat is reversed of a regular, normally closed thermostat. So we call this a normally open thermostat. What is happening here is the zone valve is closed, but it's closed because it has power. Now, it's kind of tricky to show you this, so I'm going to have to do it with the electrical meter here. On a regular thermostat, if I did this, so I'm just bringing one lead over to this side of the 24 volt transformer and I'm going to bring it to this side. This is the power side of the thermostat. Notice how I'm showing 25.5 volts. Now what I should be getting on this one on a regular normally closed thermostat is zero. But notice how I'm getting 25.5. So power is flowing through the thermostat to the zone valve. What I'm going to do is turn the thermostat up. Now what has happened is I've turned the power off to this zone valve here. And because it's a normally open zone valve, when it's powered down, water flows through it. So I will do the same test here. I've got zero. So as this is running, the way I can check this is I'm gonna do the same electrical test. I'm gonna go from this side of the transformer to here. I get zero volts. But when I move to the other side, I get 26.5. Hi, this is me from another dimension. What I was trying to say here is there's no power going to the zone valve. Therefore, the zone valve is open. All right, so we just simulated the heat being satisfied in the room. Zone valve now has full power going to it. 24 volts going to the zone valve, and it closes. So this is reversed of the other two types of zone valves. Now, the reason for this is when you're in an apartment building where you want something to fail in the safe position. So instead of having a no heat call in a big apartment building where a room could literally freeze solid, uh, the complaint would be, my room is too hot. I've got the thermostat turned all the way down and my room is like 30 degrees Celsius. What's going on? Well, something is failing in the system here. It could be a power problem. It could be a zone valve problem, but it's failing open. Just like that. And that is our zone valve basics. That is how they work. And that's how they function. That's what they look like. So I hope this video helped you out. And until the next video, you have yourself a wonderful time.